everyone, welcome back. I've got an, wow, that's heavy. I'm glad I lifted weights yesterday. <laughs> I'm gonna do some bicep curls today while we talk about unboxing. It says it's a meteorite. When I think of meteorites, I think of something about the size of the room I'm in that's gonna demolish everything in its path and leave a huge crater. This little guy probably won't do that. Let's get to it. Are you ready? This thing smells bad. I'm a little thrown off by that smell. It smells kind of metallic. I guess that makes sense because it's a meteor, right? This is what space smells like. So it's much heavier than I thought, much smoother than I thought. I was thinking jagged edges that it would look like it came off of some planet. When I think of a meteorite, I think of like, you know, something from ET. You know, it's just this huge thing that causes all these problems. This big old crater. You know what I'm talking about in the movie ET? I love that movie. I was also thinking it would be solid gray or black, but it looks like there's almost iron staining. Look at that. You see what I'm talking about? Very cool to the touch. This thing definitely doesn't have a fever. Get it? Do I get paid for a bad job? <laughs> Overall, this is not what I was expecting. This is probably the stone that has tripped me up the most. I want to learn more about this. I want to know why it smells the way it does. I want to know why it's so heavy and where exactly was this meteorite found on Earth? I'm going to call in my good friend Elizabeth. She's going to have tons of knowledge about this meteorite. Got to phone home and ask more. <laughs> Are you going to show me laughing at my own jokes? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right, everyone. I've got my good friend Elizabeth here and we're going to talk all about meteorites. Elizabeth is a geologist. I'm a gemologist. So we're kind of like the dynamic duo today. What is this? Thing. So this is a meteorite called Nantan, and it's from China. So when I opened the box, I just had this overwhelming metallic smell. But a lot of what you're smelling is actually the iron oxide, and especially if things have been in storage for a long time, you kind of have it concentrated. Want to know why I know that smell? Because there's lots of iron. Oh no, that's copper. Copper is a lake superior. I hate the smell of copper. That's just metallic. It's disgusting. Okay, so this thing's pretty heavy. Is that because it's solid iron? Well, it is iron and nickel metal. So if you were actually gonna cut this guy open and make a slab out of it, some people have actually used it for jewelry because you can take acid and etch it and you get beautiful patterns. Tell me how I can find a meteorite. Do I have to go to outer space? Meteorites strike all over the world, really all the time. What's really neat about these guys is a lot of them are actually found in the desert. So you have like the Gobi Desert, you have, you know, your Northwest Africa, and people just literally walk out into the desert and go find them. A lot of dust from outer space strikes us quite regularly. You would just never know it. You could breathe in and literally suck in a piece of space dust. Hmm. Seriously, they just sit there right on top of the sand. I just thought of a joke. <laughs> You said space dust. I was gonna ask you about space jam. <laughs> I, no I don't idea. know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you're you're crying. I just thought that was so funny. Do you think that this is how it, it came to Earth? Was it this size, or could this have been a chunk of something bigger? Definitely a chunk of something much larger. So when meteors are traveling through the atmosphere they actually undergo a process called ablation, where the outside of the meteorite heats up so hot that it actually disintegrates and ablates. When these guys strike the earth, they're actually cool within a few minutes because wow. there's nothing molten left on the outside of it. So there's no fiery flames like you see in the cartoons? Nope. So if you see these dimples all over the outside of it, these are called regmaglyphs. That's where the uh, meteorite was unevenly ablated away as it came to earth. Sorry, that's your, that's your thumb. Basically, they're like thumbprints. So if you had the coolest fact that you know about meteorite and you wanted to tell everyone about it, what would it be? What I think is the greatest thing about meteorites is that even though a lot of them are, you know, what most people just think of as a rock, there is such an, I mean, immense diversity to the chemistry, the colors, the patterns. And so if you think of all the different rocks and all the mixtures that you can find, like say in granite here on Earth, you see all of those same types of patterns in space. And that's because most of the meteorites that you see, they're the remnants of what used to be planets. So you're seeing the core of what was once a planet. I've got this little guy. He is really cute. So it's actually a chondrite, and a chondrite contains chondrules, which is the little circular rock that you guys can see in there. With the start of the universe, those little chondrules were basically the solar nebula dust that was actually sticking together and was making these little protoplanets. Is there anything from meteorites that we've learned recently that we didn't know about in the past? We do know that Mars has water because of meteorites. 
We have a meteorite that is actually called Black Beauty. The chemical composition of it actually shows that there was something called aqueous alteration, which means that there had to be water in copious amounts of it present when it was formed. We have pretty cool jobs, don't we? Definitely. Best job ever. We, our jobs rock. Mm -hmm. Pun intended. That was terrible. I know. <laughs> All right, everyone, we're gonna jump in and do a closer look. We talked today about how heavy this is, where it comes from. I want you to take a look at those spots on the stone that's actually rust. Yeah. This is gonna be our best video yet. We have to make the whole company laugh. Wasn't Elizabeth awesome? I had so much fun with her today and I hope that you enjoyed learning all about meteorites. I think the coolest thing I learned was that we learned from meteorites that there was actually water on Mars. Thanks for watching. We hope that you catch us again on another episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Who knows what we'll have next time? Meteorites, Elizabeth, another gemologist? You never know. Talk to you later.